So I heard some of you little sh** have been trash talking my girl Gita, saying she's so bad, she's the worst champion of all time. You're all wrong, she's the best champion. Here's why. Point number one, every Pokemon champion is a piece of sh**. Gen 1, Blue, the guy you wiped the floor with like 10 times the main story, how do you think the 11th time is gonna go? Gen 2, Lance, he's an Elite 4 member, not a champion. Dragon types are tough if you forget the Ice type exists, which we wouldn't forget because the 8th Gym Leader Claire also uses Dragon type? And what are these levels, hello? Dragonair doesn't evolve until level 55? What were you doing in Mahogany Town? Hey man, you got any more of them under level Dragonites? Oh shit! the fuzz uh dragonite attack kill the witnesses i, I mean the perpetrators haha -ha, nothing to fear i lance the dragon master was here to sabotage the evidence i mean sabotage their operation steven stone rock type is one of the worst types half the team can be taken out by earthquake and the other half surf he was so bad in Emerald, he was replaced by a gym leader. Wallace. Wallace is a gym leader. He uses water type after the last gym was just water type. Any Juan can beat Wallace. Eh? You eh? Cynthia. Okay, she's actually pretty tough. But have you ever heard of Ice Beam? Roserade? Ice Beam. Togekiss? Ice Beam. Garchomp? Ice Beam. You just spent time in the ice area. Her team can be beaten by Obama Snow. My fellow Americans. Ah, oh, but Spiritomb doesn't have any weaknesses. Yeah, it doesn't have any strengths either. Milotic? Use Thunder Wave. Done. Lucario? It's got a billion weaknesses and no defense. Done. Gastrodon? Use a single leaf off the ground. Done. Alder. He's so bad, you don't even fight him in the story. He gets beaten off screen by an NPC. He's unique because he, he can't battle because he is sad. Stop fucking crying, bitch. Where, where, where? I don't want to fucking hear it. Then you finally fight in like the post game and his ace is Volcarona. Hey, hey, Alder. Boo. He's so bad, he gets replaced by a gym leader in black and white too. Iris. Iris is a gym leader. Archeops poops itself halfway through a battle. Agron has Earthquake. Agron dies the Earthquake. And close combat. And it doesn't even have Sturdy. Once again, she uses Dragon type after you've already fought a Dragon type gym leader. Four of her six Pokemon are weak to Ice and Dragon. What Pokemon is on the cover of Black 2 and White 2? Oh look, an Ice and Dragon type. Wait, you don't catch them until after you beat the champion? Uh... Diantha. She's a movie star in a region that does not have a movie studio. Her only appearance in the main story is when she's getting lunch with Fashion Hitler. One of the Elite Four is a member of Team Genocide? Hey Diantha, do you have some entanglements you'd like to disclose? You fight her at the end? I don't even remember her team. She uses dinos? A pumpkin? Lucha Libre? Man, get the fuck out of here. She was so bad they didn't even make a third game of her game. I don't think she ever appeared at all again. Ever again! At all! Ever again! Gen 7. The champions have been so bad in this one, there's no champion. You fight the wrestling professor at the end for fun. People can show up and challenge you. That's pretty cool, but one of the challengers is the toddler you steamrolled on Route 1? How hard is it to beat the Elite Four in this game that the toddler can do it? Trip. You made that character up. That's not a real character. Leon. I use Haxorus. I use Dragapult. I use Chowizout. This team was designed by a seven-year-old. Point number two. Gita's fight is so easy. Paldea's Elite Four is not supposed to be hard. In other regions, sure, this is a championship title fight to see who's the best trainer in the whole region. But in Paldea, it's like a school final exam intended for literal 10 year olds, all right? You're not gonna see Michael Jordan go all out and dunk all over the sick kid in the Make-A-Wish basketball game, all right? In Paldea, anyone and everyone can be a champion ranked trainer. The guy who doesn't battle is a champion. Fire Emblem Engage is a champion. Your rival is a champion trainer playing through the game again on New Game Plus. The final exam shouldn't be stupidly hard. There's a word for that. It's called engineering school and it fucking sucks. So yeah, Gita might say things like, during battle, I'm incapable of holding back. Well, guess what? A dad playing basketball against their kid in the front driveway is gonna say the same type of thing and still let their kid win anyways. Sorry to ruin that illusion of your childhood for you. Besides, it's not like Gita is the exception to an otherwise perfectly balanced and not at all rushed game. The whole game is stupidly easy. Point number three. Her team is true. 
trash. Some of y'all weren't paying attention to Karen. Not Karen, but Karen, the Elite Four lady who said it best. The best trainers try to win with any Pokemon, even fucking Go Goat. Her team is a test. Each Pokemon represents a different obstacle you might have to overcome in competitive play should you choose to go down that route. Go Goat, bulk up sweeper. King Gambit, physical muscle. Glamora, trap setter. Avalug, physical wall. Turkey Tom, speedy special attack glass cannon. Baluza, high priority chip damage. Glamora gives free toxic spikes. Why didn't she send out Glamora first? King Gambit powers up when more of your team is dead. Why didn't she send out King Gambit last? Why isn't a King Gambit her ace? She literally has the same hair as King Gambit. Look, we all been there, all right? Ah, whoops, I forgot to switch my team order back before the battle. But this is the biggest day of this kid's career, so let's hype it up. Ah, Glamora, be the guiding light of Paldea even though you can't fucking battle at all. This could happen to any of us. We all been there. This relatability helps endear us to the character. Or maybe that was originally the plan, but in playtesting it was seen to be too hard. I don't know, this game's for kids. And even when you're taking that stupid ass pre-battle survey, they're frustrated that there hasn't been a new champion in a really long time. Probably because all the challengers kept losing to Gita, so she had to purposely nerf her team. Because kids nowadays are weak with their team. TikTok and keyboard warriors and cool Lego sets. What is this? Quick balls? Shiny charms? Back in my day, we had to fight Mewtwo in a cave! The box of scraps! And it's all his fault! Gita best champion! Gita best human! Gita best hair! Gita best drip! Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are perfect games with no issues! That's it, that's the video. If you're watching this in the future, make sure you check the upload date before you get mad in the comments. And today's comment code word is Bishop. Comment Bishop if you made it all the way through the video. And uh, that's it, video's over.